trillion ton iceberg the size of Delaware that cracked off Antarctica last year is spinning with a spectacular amount of momentum and heading for a huge collision. In early July 2017, a huge crack in Antarctica's Larsen Sea ice shelf caused a massive iceberg to break free. The huge chunk of ice, dubbed Iceberg A68 by scientists, measures 5,800 square kilometers. Scientists have tracked it over the last year, and say it is now rotating, swinging northwards. Scientists tracking a massive iceberg that broke free from Antarctica's Larsen Sea ice shelf has begun to spin, satellite images have revealed. Experts had previously said the giant area, estimated to be about the size of Delaware, was locked into place, saying it likely got stuck on the seabed. But now A68 has started to swing northwards, said polar oceanographer Mark Brandon recently, who spotted the movement using temperature data collected by the Suomi NPP satellite. You can see at between 7 July 12, 2018 the weather conditions and ocean currents conspire to swing the trillion tons of the giant iceberg A68 in an anti-clockwise direction, he said. My guess is that A68 they will continue rotating as it is now around that western point, until what is currently the northern edge collides with the Larsen Sea ice front. It has a spectacular amount of momentum and it's not going to stop easily. I should think we will see some interesting collisions with the ice shelf in the next few months. It is believed a temperature anomaly on July 20, 2018 when it was almost 20 degrees Celsius warmer than the mean over the Weddell Sea and Larsen Ice Shelf, may have triggered the rotation beginning. Glaciologist and former Project Midas collaborator Martin O'Leary told Earther a collision is certainly possible he doubts it would have much of an effect on either the iceberg or shelf given the slow motion speed at which it would occur. Eventually, O'Leary says the prevailing ocean currents will push the iceberg northwards and eastwards into the southern ocean where it will probably break up and melt. Last year it was revealed dense ice cover had so far prevented it from drifting far out to sea. An animation showing its movement over the last few months reveals how the trillion-plus ton iceberg A68 has shifted as it's battered by ocean currents, tides, and winds in the Weddell Sea. While the huge chunk of ice, estimated to be about the size of Delaware, has moved around some, the experts say its surroundings have kept it somewhat locked into place. Iceberg A68 is the sixth largest iceberg on record since scientists began keeping track, and its separation from the ice shelf sparked fears about its future impacts on global sea levels. Despite all the activity in the Weddell Sea, its northern end has repeatedly been grounded in shallower water near Baden Ice Rise, according to Project Midas researchers, who have been monitoring the iceberg over the last year. These groundings led eventually to further pieces of the iceberg being shattered off in May 2018. Whilst not quite large enough to be given labels themselves, the total area of icebergs lost from May 68 in May was the size of a small city. Earlier this year, scientists released the first ever footage of A68, a trillion-ton iceberg the size of Delaware that has broken off from Antarctica. Stunning aerial clips capture the huge crack in Antarctica's Larsen Sea ice shelf that led to the third-largest iceberg ever recorded breaking off from the continent last July. When A68 separated from Larsen C, it revealed an ocean hidden under the ice shelf for 120,000 years, and a team of scientists are now studying the region to uncover some of the hidden ecosystem's mysteries. Led by the Cambridge-based British Antarctic Survey BAS, the group will study tiny animals, microbes and plankton on the seafloor to see how they cope with severe changes to their environment. As part of preliminary research for the trip, the team have taken aerial footage of the iceberg to monitor how far it has drifted to sea, the very first video captured of the berg since it calved from Larsen Sea last year. Marine biologist Dr. Katrin Lentz, the BAS researcher leading the mission, said, The calving of A68 provides us with a unique opportunity to study marine life as it responds to a dramatic environmental change.
It's important we get there quickly before the undersea environment changes as sunlight enters the water and new species begin to colonize. We've put together a team with a wide range of scientific skills so that we can collect as much information as possible in a short time. It's very exciting. The scientists are traveling by ship to collect samples from the newly exposed seabed, which covers an area of around 2,250 square miles, 5,800 square kilometers. What is the A68 iceberg and what caused IT to break away from Antarctica? In July 2017, a huge crack in Antarctica's Larsen Sea ice shelf caused a trillion-ton iceberg, the third biggest ever recorded, to break off from the icy southern continent. The huge chunk of ice, dubbed Iceberg A68, measures 5,800 square kilometers, 2,240 square miles, making it around the size of Delaware, or four times the area covered by Greater London. Since A68 broke away, it has remained unclear what will happen to the giant mass, with fears it could break up into pieces too small to track on satellite, and drift into shipping lanes. Experts have found that cracks are still growing on Larsen C, and if they continue to grow, it's possible that the ice shelf could collapse. If all of Larsen C collapses, the ice it holds back might add another 4 inches, 10 centimeters to global sea levels over the years. Many scientists argue that a calving event was not necessarily due to climate change. Instead, it may simply reflect the natural growth and decay cycle of an ice shelf. The team says their mission is urgent because the ecosystem that's likely hidden beneath the ice for thousands of years may change as sunlight starts to alter the surface layers of the sea. The team will investigate the area previously under the ice shelf by collecting seafloor animals, microbes, plankton, sediments and water samples using a range of equipment including video cameras and a special sledge pulled along the seafloor to collect tiny animals. They will also record any marine mammals and birds that might have moved into the area. Their findings will provide a picture of what life under the ice shelf was like so changes to the ecosystem can be tracked. A68 is 620 feet, 190 meters, thick from top to bottom, with just 100 feet, 30 meters, of it is visible above the ocean. The iceberg was formed by a single crack along Larsen Sea, its parent ice shelf, and makes up a little over 10% of the shelf. As researchers flew around the iceberg to get a better view of it as it drifts into the Weddell Sea. This newly exposed marine area is the first to benefit from an international agreement made in 2016 by the Commission for the Conservation of Antarctic Marine Living Resources CAMLR. This agreement designates special areas for scientific study in newly exposed marine areas following the collapse or retreat of ice shelves across the Antarctic Peninsula region. The agreement came following a European Union proposal to CAMLR, led by BAS scientists. Professor David Vaughan, science director at BAS, said, The calving of A68 offers a new and unprecedented opportunity to establish an interdisciplinary scientific research program in this climate-sensitive region. Now is the time to address fundamental questions about the sustainability of polar continental shelves under climate change. We need to be bold on this one. Larsen Sea is a long way south and there's lots of sea ice in the area, but this is important science so we will try our best to get the team where they need to be.